Women's health is a complex, ever-changing field of medicine. From uterine cancer to pelvic floor prolapse to incontinence, millions of women are afflicted with urogynecologic conditions as they age. Treatment of these conditions is a very nuanced field. In fact, female pelvic medicine and reconstructive surgery is classified as a subspecialty to gynecology. 20 to 30 million women suffer from pelvic floor prolapse or incontinence. So what has happened is that it requ requires an integrated approach. You can't have one person just taking care of a bladder, another person taking care of a vagina, and a third person taking care of the rectum. It's best to have someone who understands the physiology, how they interact together. When you affect one organ, you're going to affect all three organs. What happens when you change one has it affect the other two. Fortunately, the field of female pelvic medicine and reconstructive surgery is advancing rapidly. Today, top surgeons use robots to assist with procedures like hysterectomy and abdominal sacral colpopexy for pelvic floor prolapse. Dr. Cornelius Verhust is one of them. With the slightest movements of his hands and feet, Dr. Verhust controls every movement of the robot. This cutting-edge technology allows him to perform procedures with unmatched precision. When we talk about robotics versus laparoscopic, they're both minimally invasive. The robotic has the advantage of better visualization, 3D visualization, actually less pain, in my opinion, compared to straight stick laparoscopy, and more control. The surgeon has much more control of the instruments. On the other surgeries, you really depend on your assistant to do basically half the operation. With a robotic surgery, your surgeon is doing 95% of that surgery, and the assistant really is just passing instruments back and forth, maybe removing some gas out of the abdomen because it interferes with what his visualization, but they're not doing half of the operation like they do in other surgeries. Robot-assisted surgery benefits the patients as well. They experience smaller incisions and less trauma to tissues, resulting in a faster recovery and a shorter hospital stay. I was having a lot of problems over the past few years and I went to Dr. Verhost and he suggested the robotic surgery using the Da Vinci system. I was in overnight and discharged the next day and I went to work the next week. It was amazing. I, I felt a thousand times better after that surgery. Urogynecological health is an issue for every woman. Never before has there been such advanced solutions for conditions countless women will face. You need to take control of your health. You need to actively seek out and demand to see a pelvic female reconstructive specialist. These are basically plastic surgeries. They're very complex and the results of the operation depend significantly on the experience of the operative surgeon and the operative team. So I would start out with a female pelvic reconstructive surgeon a certified surgeon first and then go from there. Urogynecologist Cornelius Verhust is one of the top robotic surgeons in the country. At the Center for Robotic Surgery at St. Francis Hospital in Poughkeepsie, New York, Dr. Verhust treats the most complex cases like hysterectomy on extremely large uterus. As an expert of the Da Vinci robotic surgery system, Dr. Verhust is pioneering new techniques to advance the field of female pelvic medicine reconstructive surgery. There's 20 million to 30 million women who really suffer in silence with incontinence and pelvic floors. I had personally relatives in my family who did this when I was a teenager, and they went from doctor to doctor to doctor. No one could help these people. Um, so more or less when I went to medical school, I wasn't planning on doing pelvic floor reconstruction, but the more I saw the need for it, the more I felt compelled almost to step into the limelight and do this for women. St. Francis Hospital has a long-standing commitment to making cutting-edge technology available to its patient population. The Center for Robotic Surgery is a prime example of St. Francis's dedication to these advancements. St. Francis's esteemed surgical team uses the Da Vinci robotic surgery system to treat a variety of conditions for both women and men. Well, like open surgery was 100 years ago as an anesthesia, it was life-changing for many people, many women. I think robotic surgery is the next evolution that's going to be life-changing. You're going to be doing anything you can do open, we should be able to do with a robot. I mean, and now through a single incision, we're going to have single incision hysterectomy. I can imagine single incision pelvic floor repair. Um, we have thoracic surgery being done through a robot. You've got colon resections being done robotically, cardiac surgery being done robotically. Pretty much 
as the robot specialists improve their techniques, as you get people like myself who's a female pelvic reconstructive specialist doing more and more of these things, we'll push the envelope and um, the sky's the limit. Patients across the Poughkeepsie region benefit by having access to top surgeons like Dr. Verhoost and medical breakthroughs like the Da Vinci robot. I had the robotic hysterectomy because my uterus was so large. It caused heavy bleeding. Um, I was very anemic as a result, always tired, very uncomfortable. I was very comfortable knowing that Dr. Verhoost was himself very confident in performing this procedure and I knew I would be back to work very quickly, relatively quickly, and I'd be able to enjoy life again. I had this procedure done around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I was back in the hospital room at 6 p.m. I was home the next morning by 11 a.m. My only restriction was that I could not drive for a week, and I was back at work in three weeks. I had no pain, very quick recovery time. I would recommend Dr. Burhos because he is such a pro. He explains everything, he, he's an expert at the procedures, and he called me at home after the surgery to see how I was feeling, and he's just amazing. He's great follow-up care. His team, he knows all his team, he works with the same people, and he's a pro. For more information about Dr. Cornelius Verhoost and the Center for Robotic Surgery, visit sfhospital.org.